Alright, let's try this again. Start game. We're gonna do it with normal. Hey, Junior. Hey, Ma. Is everything alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I had a few minutes left spare before my break's over, so I figured I'd give you two a call, just to check in, you know? Aw, oh, thank you, hon. We're both fine over here. I found a few extra dollars in my purse, so we ordered some takeout. Shouldn't take too much longer. Do you get here? I'd reckon. Awesome! Awesome. You all two enjoy. I'd better be... I'd better get off... The this phone and get back to work then. We've got a bunch of stuff to move out of here tonight, and it's my turn to drive the forklift. Tell little Missy I said hello, would ya? We all do, hon. Thanks, Ma. Talk to you later. I don't know why I gave him some sort of a weird ass um, surfer accent for, but there we are. Audrey? Yeah, Grandma? Your papa says hello. Still at work? Yep, he's called during his break. Now did you finish that homework of yours yet? Yeah, I did, Grandma. Good, that's what I like to hear. Well, that's probably the food. I'll go get it. Huh. I could have sworn I heard someone out here knock. Did you, Audrey? Uh-huh. Ah. <sighs> oh, my stars. Here we go again. Audrey, he's back. The man? Uh-huh. He sure is annoying, isn't he? Isn't he, hon? I don't want you speak... Speaking messed up English like Grandma does. But yes, he is. I don't remember the house looking like this. We're gonna go through the book together this time, okay? And I want you to pay... I want you to pay attention, Audrey. Your papa and I ain't always gonna be here. So you need to know how to do this for yourself. <laughs> and how are you, Despo? I hope you're having a wonderful time zone. I hope everything's gone well for you. Did you do anything exciting today? I understand, Grandma. I think. Good, thanks. Wonderful. Time will pass. The seasons may change. We know that nothing can ever stay the same. But still, the man continues to play his twisted game. For the simplest of requests is all he all he's ever wanted. In his unending search for these dark streets, he has haunted. A stream for 13 hours? So I've noticed... That's quite a marathon. Once once night falls, you'll know he's on the prowl. Keep far away, else you'll meet a fate that is that is assuredly most foul. A faint tapping at one's window has always been his herald. So spend these next five minutes wisely, or you might find yourself suddenly in peril. Now proceed with caution and proceed with haste, for the man has learned that there's no time to waste. Damn it. The rest of these pages have been torn out. It's in the fridge. Is this the same one or is this... Has this always been... No, nope, not there. I need to quickly search. There's another one. I remember when we didn't even have one of these. Oh, for God, you have to actually go outside. No, even, not even a little peephole today.
thing. No. Gotta make sure. It's a clothes hamper. It's an old wash tub. Now it's only used to wash clothes. Holy crap, that's a lot of pages. Not finding a friend is an outcome the man won't accept. He'll he will next look where the unclean clothes are kept. The man remains vigilant. His hopes tonight will not be squashed. His next course of action is to look in the place where the clothes are washed. In his request for a friend, the man never grows bored. Soon he will look in the place where the food is stored. Smiling ear to ear, the man always showing his teeth. The next place he'll check is the sink with the cabinet underneath. All, all these years, the man has searched his quest he never forsook. The empty room is where he will next look. Finding a friend is a priority for the man, and nothing could be dearer. Next he'll, he will check the place under the mirror. Okay, so what is it? Um, unclean clothes at the hamper. Uh, clothes are washed. Soon he will look in the place where the food is stored, so I'm guessing the storage room. Uh, check the sink with the cabinet underneath. Empty room. I don't know why that's... Okay. Audrey... Ain't fitting under there. Where the hell do you hide? Okay, I'm guessing that's it. I was having a great time dying and lost track of time. <laughs> As it would, as it would. And though only, he, and though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals at night, this time the man was ready. And since the blinds had been left open, he knew exactly. Oh no! I completely forgot. The man looked inside the fridge. And then he finally found his new friend. The time was exactly midnight when Junior received an unexpected call from home. From the other side of the phone emitted a series of distorted and indiscriminable sound. And after a few moments, the line went dead. Knowing full well that something was amiss, Junior immediately rushed home. What would he find upon his return? Only time would tell. You gotta find all of these other flipping pages. And, like a butthole. Yeah, I can actually go outside the, wind the, uh, the rooms this time. Okay, so that's one. Can I lock it? Oh, I can lock it. Nice. Okay, so. Uh, nothing in the fridge. Grab that. One in here this time. Close those blinds. So it eats my butthole. That is empty. Okay, 
Okay, let's have a look at this. Not many things could stop the man, neither boss nor container. Now he will look under the box. Uh, now he will look under the box watched for entertainment. The man remains vigilant. His hopes tonight will not be squashed. His next course of action is to look in the place where the clothes are washed. Finding a friend is a priority for the man, and nothing could be dearer. Next he will look... Next he will check the place under the, under the mirror. Despite his loneliness, the man does not stop to weep. Next he will check under this place where you sleep. Not finding a friend is an outcome the man won't accept. He will next look where the unclean clothes are kept. The man is happiest when his hunt for a friend is afoot. So next he'll move. His next move is to search place where the boxes were put. Okay. Audrey. Follow me. Let me just double check everything. Okay, so underneath the TV uh, is a no no. Clothes are washed is a no no. Under the mirror is a no no. We'll check under the place where you sleep. Uh, next, you will wear the unclean clothes. Boxes were put. Hide in the bathtub. Right. Let's see if I've done this correctly. It was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance door. And though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night, this time the man was ready. Rude! The man looked inside the TV stand. But found nothing. The man looked inside the old wash tub. Yeah, I know, rude, right? But he found nothing. The man looked under the bathroom sink. But he found nothing. The man looked under the bed. But he found nothing. The man looked inside the clothes hamper. But he found nothing. The man looked inside the kitchen closet. But he found nothing. The time was now 8.02. And though he still had plenty of time left. The man had run out of places to search. So as quickly as he arrived, he left. Yeah, and stay gone this time. Don't think you can just run in here and mess with Grandma and me. Because I... Audrey, honey, you don't need to be scared. It's just the takeout we ordered. Audrey? <sighs> what am I gonna do with that child? <sighs> 